Um, it's simply that I'm pointing out the arbitrariness and inconsistency of atheist reasoning. For example, um, atheists believe that there are laws of logic by which we can reason. And you would need reason in order to arrive at evidence. But how do you establish that anything is absolute? Right? So if you believe that there can be evidence, you believe that you can reason. If you believe that you can reason, then logical absolutes exist. Well, what would your evidence be that there are that the logical absolutes exist? You don't have evidence for that. It, it cannot be demonstrated by um, experience or observation. So what would, what would be your evidence? The one powerful argument for the existence of God would be parallel to the argument um, for the laws of logic. For example, if there are laws of logic, we can reason. Premise number two, we can reason. Conclusion, therefore the laws of logic exist. If one maintains that we can reason, that's a powerful argument that God exists. Because to deny God, the God of the Bible, would mean you would have no basis to establish that you have the preconditions or the prerequisites for logic and reason. But how, how would you support that? You would have to believe it without evidence, which would make the skeptics guilty of being arbitrary and inconsistent. So I I do hope that I win that contest. That'll be I will I will uh, it'll put a big smile on my face if I beat out Matt Slick. I'll I'll rub that in Matt Slick uh, Matt Slick's face. Say Matt, I beat you out. 